Hello guys and welcome back to Bridge Gaming and today we have another amazing Plaza Japan collaboration video for you today and we're doing a booster box of SM6 Forbidden Light which is an incredible set really I cannot wait to get this booster box open but first we got a little free gift from Plaza Japan we got six of these promo packs and essentially each one contains a chance to get the uh, shiny Poi Pole card which um, is given out one of these is given out per five packs you buy at the Pokemon Center. And we have six, so hopefully we're gonna be able to show you the shiny Poi Pole as well. But as I said, it is a random chance. I think there are uh, five other cards, four or five other cards that come with the set. And they are, I think it's Pikachu Rowlet, Alolan Vulpix and Toracat, and a regular Poi Pole. So yeah, there's a, a Rowlet there as part of the, uh, the promo set. Hey, we might even complete the whole set, who knows? So we're just gonna whiz through these really uh, as quick as we can before we get into our, our booster box. As uh, a Loden Vulpix there. So that's two down out of the, uh, out of the six. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get the whole set from the six packs we have. Wouldn't that be, that'd be quite lucky. Let's see what we got here. It's uh, a regular Poi Pole. And the shiny one looks exactly like this, except this, it's, a, it's a hollow card and the Poi Pole is obviously uh, shiny, which is white and orange actually looks quite nice. Uh, three packs to go. The three cards we haven't pulled from this sort of mini promo set yet are Pikachu, Toracat and the shiny Poi Pole. What have we got here? There's Pikachu, so we might actually end up with uh, one of each. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And I can show you the entire uh, promo set as well. So we need this to be a shiny Poi Pole or the uh, Toracat for that to take effect. And it's, uh, it is Toracat. So they, they are the, uh, all of the non-rare, if you like. These are all the cards you can get apart from the shiny Poi Pole. Uh, Toracat, Rallet, Alolan Vulpix, uh, regular Poi Pole and Pikachu. Can we get the shiny Poi Pole as well? Just to finish this, this off would be really nice, wouldn't it? Here we go. It, it is a shiny Poi Pole. Well, would you look at that? So we actually managed to get one of each from those six packs there, which I don't know if that, that could not have been intended. That could not have been intended. As I said, it's a really nice card. It's it's uh, exactly the same as the, the non-rare, except obviously the shiny colors. But the colors on it are really nice. And uh, yeah, there's a shiny Poi Pole. And here's the entire set look. So we managed to collect that entire set. I'm not sure the same will be said for the booster box. I don't think we'll be able to complete that set in one go, but hey, we're gonna give it a, a go anyway. And it's a really incredible set, SM6, Forbidden Light. It's, it's definitely one of my favorites. In my opinion, there's not a bad card to be pulled in here. There's some really cool uh, Pokemon in here. The GX Pokemon, uh, the Ultra Necrozma, as you can see on the face of the box for the first time. We also have Yuvatel and Xerneas. The legendary Pokemon from the Kalos region, and we also have a Greninja from the Kalos region, and there is uh, one more. It's a Zygarde, who again is obviously from the Kalos region. So we are guaranteed one ultra rare in here, and it could be one of those in full art form or hyper rare form. So it'd be very exciting to see what we actually end up with. But yeah, let's just move Shiny Poi over here a bit. Let's, um, we'll go left to right and we'll just uh, see what we end up with. I wouldn't mind pulling any of those Pokemon for a change. If you want to, if you actually want to know a bit more about the set and read a bit more, there's actually a blog post written by me on the Plaza Japan website, and I'll put a link to that um, below, so you guys can check that out if you want to know a bit more about the SM6 Forbidden Light set. There's Holusha there, Kalefki, and we start with, whoa! We've started with the rarest card in the entire set! We've started with the Mystery Treasure, which is a secret rare item. This is unbelievable! I, I've just started so strongly and I don't know what to say. The Mystery Treasure, instantly! Um, if I had got further into the video, I'd have gone on to tell you all about the Mystery Treasure, how by far it is the rarest card to pull in the entire set. And, well, Plaza Japan and, and I, we, we've got a this relationship going on where we seem to just pull the best cards and um, there we go again, the mystery treasure pulled. Wow, thank you very much Plaza Japan. I, I cannot believe we just pulled the mystery treasure from that SM6 box on the first pack. Well, do we need to do the rest of the box guys? 
Of course we do, of course we do. Wow, I'm, I'm in a bit of shock actually, like... That's uh, by far probably the, the most sought after card of the set, I, I would say. On a personal level. So I don't, I don't really, well it's not on a personal level, I, I was, I've been in Japan the last week and I, I know how sought after that card is. The, 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 the shops there are charging a, a, a small fortune for that individual card, so the pull it is, is incredible. Zygarde, uh, Unidentified Fossil, Eevee and a Pangoro and Pavilion behind it. Um, well guys, we managed to get that out of the way, didn't we? There's still um, Prism Stars in here, which I'll tell you all about as well. There's Diancy, Lysander and uh, Volcanion, all from the Kalos region. They seem to be doing these sets uh, in sort of themed uh, around a, a specific region at the minute. It's for Bay Bay NF, uh, Hollow Ferramosa there. Very nice card. For instance, the last set, SN5, uh, it was... It was around the uh, Sinnoh theme, and you had cards like Cynthia. This time, it's, it's the Kalos region, and you have cards such as uh, Diantha, uh, Lady, and, and Bonnie, from obviously the uh, series Skrelp there, I think that's Skrelp. A uh, Klawitza, uh, I think that's Binnacle, and then a, an Alolan Marowak, the Cubo, and the, this card evolves in uh, front, there's Lady there, is a particularly sad card. Um, I'll show you what I mean when we get to it. I'm still, I'm still in a bit of shock, guys. That we got the, uh, the mystery treasures in our first pack there. That's um, by far the. Uh, well, I keep saying it, don't I? It's by far the most sought after card. So Hooper here, it's a really nice card actually. Get someone that looks at you the way Hooper looks at these donuts. That's what I. That's that's what I say. It's, uh, I think this is uh, it's Floet or Flabebe. I can't remember which way around it goes. I think this is a. Uh, uh, this is a. Uh, Floet, this is Floet. There's two Flabebe's actually, Ferraro and uh, another Ferramosa Hollow, pretty much instantly. A Bonnie behind Ferramosa there. Yes. So it's very kind of Plaza Japan to send us those free gifts, and it's very kind of Plaza Japan to send us this uh, booster box with the uh, mystery treasure in as well. I have to say, that was very generous. Um, here's a uh, Scatterbug there, a uh, Holucha. Uh, an identified fossil and a oh this is uh, one of the uh, new items this is the uh, I believe it's called excavation map excavation map and there's a, a age of slash there just have to think of that name for a second age of slash there hopefully we should be due um, as I said some prism stars or just one prism star card it's interesting to see what we get there and of course we've got our GX's, there should be three GX's. Ultimate Necrozma, Yvetl, Xenaeus, Greninja, Zygarde, they're all from the Kalos region. Froki, Kalefki, um, it's, it's not, I think that's Spupa, is it? Spupa? And there's an Age of Slash and a double colorless energy there. So there's still plenty to come from this box. I do have to say I like the color. I, I really like the pack art, I really like the color. It's a nice bridge gaming green on this particular set, which I'm very happy with. I am very happy with that secret rare, I have to say. Having uh, opened a few packs personally, myself already, I've only pulled full art uh, trainers so far. I, I actually pulled five altogether. I pulled three ladies in a row, not in a row, but you know what I mean. There's a Del Fox there, very nice holo card. And then I pulled uh, Bonnie, and then my way home from Japan last week, this week, sorry, should I say, I pulled uh, Diantha. They have a, a Pokemon store at the airport, and I bought uh, five loose packs from there, and I pulled the, the full art trainer, Diantha. Very nice card. They're all really nice cards in the set. This one here is uh, Flabebe, Floitza, uh, I think that's Litleo, and then this, I think this is Avalug here. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, Avalug. And a porter. This does come as a secret rare item as well. Not this time though, we, we've got our secret rare item. We are very happy with our secret rare item. This set has been very kind to me. That's a Meowstic, Bunnelby, Rockruff, and a Pyro Hollow. This is one of my favorite hollows, I have to say. If you can just see uh, Lysander at the back there. 
and uh, it's it's a really nice looking card. And, and there's uh, Esper there. Was that Meow Stick? I can't remember which way around it goes. We'll put uh, Pyro down there. And we'll move on to our next pack here. Okay, let's see what we get here. It's a, uh, let me just get this one correct. This is a, a Clauncher, Inke, Gumi, and a, I think this is a referee or something along those lines. It's a judge, judge, which is similar to a referee, isn't it? And Sylvie on the, so this set, SM6, is the first of its kind actually in um, the Sun and Moon series to actually come out as just one set instead of splitting itself into two expansions and then following up with like a, a plus expansion. For instance, in SM6, you had SM6 S and M and then you, uh, that was followed up with SM6 uh, plus the NK, Skatterbug, the Dene and a Ghost Lord Hollow, very nice. So this is slightly different, this is doing it as SM7, then a month later there's SM7A, then a month later there's SM7B, then I move on to, um, sorry, SM6, A and B, and then I move on to SM7 uh, I believe, after that. So you still get the same amount of sets, you still get three sets every three months, they're just staggering it differently, instead of two at once and then the follow up one, it's going to be, uh, one every month, which is good, you know? Stages out a bit. Frogadier. I think that's uh, Binnacle. Execute. And a, oh, a Xerneas, a GX. I have to say, they've really stepped up the artwork game on a lot of these cards. This card, Xerneas GX, is particularly beautiful. Lots of colors in there, it looks really nice. We're very happy to get Xerneas GX. And then there's the uh, uh, Amora there. We'll just stick uh, uh, Exynos in a uh, sleeve there. I hope I get to get, show you guys like the Yvette of GX. It's one of my favourite GX cards um, ever produced. The artwork on that is stunning. So hopefully we will. We should be due, I think, um, I think three GXs. I think I think three GXs altogether. We'll see. So we've got one there. Still waiting for a Prism Star. Yeah, it's going very well. It's going very well. Sligu. Fennekin, uh, Bergmite, uh, Switch, and then uh, this one here, and I like this Pokemon, this Pokemon is actually one of my favourite Pokemon, it's uh, Barbacle, and I definitely didn't just have to look up that name at all, definitely that off the top of my head, I was not stalling for time, I was not stalling for time, no, do not accuse me of doing that, just looking up the name, okay, I did it quite quickly though, didn't I, Dewblade, Gumi, Execute, as a Zygarde, 50% form, I believe that's 50 and Lily there, a uh, reprint of Lily, not many reprints in the set, uh, it's 99% new cards to be honest, don't know how it's in 99% when there's any, I think it's a nice four card set, okay, oops, uh, Skiddo, Gumi, Noi Bat, and a, oh, it's a Diantha Hollow card, Continuing the uh, the trend of hollow trainer cards like Cynthia and SM5, here is Diantha. And it is a nice card, I have to say. The yeah, artwork's pretty good. And Lady behind it. Both of those come as full art, guys. Okay, let's see what we can do here in this pack. As I said, we're still waiting for to see the odd GX and the Prism Star. Volcanion, um, Lysander and Diancy. Frogadier, Zygarde, and an Alolan Executor holocard, card, which looks quite nice. We have this one here, I think that's Dragalgi, which modelled on the Leafy Sea Dragon, which um, is quite peculiar. Alas. Dewblade, Go Goat. A uh, Froki, and there's Avalog, and the uh, I think that's the Pokemon Catcher, is it? The, the uh, ray gun type thing. Still waiting for this box to hit us with the last few bits. Definitely check out Plaza Japan. It's, it's honestly where I buy all my Japanese stuff from. The guys are brilliant. As I said, you get free gifts all the time, like I did there with those shiny Poipole packs. Um, 
I'm gonna put the, the, the link to their website in the uh, description below, so make sure you do check them out. Noivern, Marowak, we haven't had that Cubone card yet, the one I was talking about. I'm sure it's just a common card, so I'm hoping they'll, they'll pop up eventually. Because I'd like to show it to you. Sligu, uh, Spupa, Froki, How. How are you still getting into these sets? That is the question. I love opening these packs. They open up so easily. Eevee! Hoopa! Here's that Cubone card. Let's have a look then. A um, little backstory to Cubone. He lost his mother, uh, which is quite a, a known thing with Cubone. And um, he's got a little tear in his eye there. And you can see like the, the Marowak cloud in the sky. And whoever designed this, So-So, um, the illustrator down here, that's, that's pretty heavy, so so. Oh, we do have our Prism Star card in this set, in this pack, sorry. And it's Diancy, and it's one of the better looking ones, I have to say. I think it's one of the more sought after Prism Stars as well. And as always, the Prism Star looks incredible, doesn't it? The black border, the shining Prism symbol. It's very nice indeed, and we're very happy to, to have that. So the question is now we've had our Mystery Treasure, incredibly, and we have our Prism Star card there. What GX cards are we going to finish off with? Hopefully we get to see an Ultra and a Chorosma. Only because in terms of sort afterness, sort <laughs> sorted afterness, is that a is that can I, is that a thing? Um, Ultra and a Chorosma is probably the most sought after. It's a Skrelp, Brexin, uh, and there's an Aurorus. Very nice hollow card there, Aurorus. And an Ultra Ball. I'm still expecting two GXs. Let's just get these packs out. I'm not sure how many we have left. I think there's about uh, eight, eight packs left, actually. Okay, let's pop this box up. Let's put it back to the way it was. There we go. Doesn't that look much better? Let's finish off these packs. Let's get a couple more GX cards. Let's recap. Let's look at our mystery treasure for another half an hour. And then you guys can go. There's Floet, uh, Diggers B, the Cubone again, and a Tyrant, and a Choice Band there, which is obviously a very good trainer card. Very good trainer cards in the set indeed. Let's see what we got. On Edge, Fennekin. Leoptile and a Gudra Hollow. I do like Gudra as a Pokemon. I have a lot of these Hollows though, I have to say. I think that was my most pulled Hollow card in my time in Japan. Next time I will be visiting Plaza Japan's headquarters and I'll let you have a look behind the scenes if they let me. Haruro, a Skiddo, and the Mystery treasure, wouldn't it be nice to get that in Secret Rare, huh? So I'm gonna put that there. And that that is uh, Clawitzer, I believe. Which comes after Clauncher. How many packs to go? I th I'm sure we're due two, two more GXs. Or maybe it is just the two. Either way, we should get another GX. On edge. Binnacle. This one is uh, a Floet. This one is... is Yes, it is Floet. And a hey, a Greninja GX. Floet is a really nice card, Greninja GX. And definitely one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. I think Greninja topped a pole a couple of years ago in Japan of the most popular Pokemon. Beat Pikachu, beat Mewtwo and the others. Greninja was top at that time. And there's no surprise they've given him a GX card in a Kalos themed set, is there? Just got to cater to those fans, Pokemon. You've done a good job. Let's get these remaining packs out of the way. I say out of the way. Fennekin. Uh, Spupa. Esper. Oh, this is a really nice hollow. The Dusk Form Lycan Rock hollow. One of my favorites. Again, one of my favorite Pokemon, Lycan Rock, the Dusk Form. And it's a really nice hollow card. Very happy to have that. 
Three packs to go. I don't know if we're going to find another GX. It might just be those two. Uh, Flurbebe, Noibat, Helioptal, Esper, and uh, Sylveon. Two more packs to go. Okay, a uh, Brexin, a uh, Go Goat, Inkay. Hey, we got another GX card. We got Ultra Necrozma, who, as I said, is probably the most sought after GX card of this set. And it's a really nice card. I'm glad we got the poster boy to show you. But yeah, Ultra Necrozma to join uh, Xerneas and Greninja. The only two we didn't get, guys, were Zygarde and um, Yveltal. I'm very happy with those three. I wasn't even sure we were going to get that third one there. But we did, guys. We did. Can we get a holo card here just to finish it off? Rockruff on edge. Malamar and Judge again. So that is our box. And <laughs> what a box it's been. We cannot complain about anything in this box. We've done so well. So let's just do a quick recap. I'll just start you off. We've got the Mystery Treasure as a regular trainer card, which is pretty good. Hollow cards then. Let's have a look. In reverse order. So we just pulled the dust form Lycan Rock. Gudra. Amorus. A uh, Alolan Executor. Diantha Hollow Card. Guzlord. Pyro. Delphox. Feromosa and Feromosa. I did remember that, that was in quick succession. So we also have our Prism Star card, Diancy, today. Beautiful card, really nice card. Very happy to get Diancy. Diancy can go over there. Let's check out... Um, hey, let's look at Shiny Poi Bowl again. We've got Shiny Poi Bowl in our free gift packs, and it's very good to get a Shiny Poi Bowl. Very happy with that. Thank you for those free gifts there, Flowers of Japan. Poi Bowl, don't knock down my Diancy. Our GX's then, our three GX's. We've got the Ultra Necrozma GX, very happy. We've got our Greninja GX, the uh, Kalos Poster Boy, and Xerneas GX as well. The only two we didn't have, as I said, from this set, you can get your Velto or uh, Zygarde as well. Now guys, we did actually get an Ultra Rare. And in this particular box, we've done so well. We got the uh, most sought after Ultra Rare in the entire set. We got the mystery treasure. And I can't tell you how happy I was to see that come out of the box in the first pack. Normally when you know when you get something out of the first pack, it's like, oh well, the rest of the box, what, what are we hoping for now? But I, I'm so happy that we got this thing. This is an absolutely stunning card, and I'm very happy to have it. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is today's SM6 Forbidden Light box opening in collaboration with Plaza Japan. Thank you so much to them as always. And thank you guys for watching. I've been Brosh Gaming. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more from me. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.